dear 7th class students in this video you are going to learn a lesson from your grammar book sentences we make use of sentences when we are speaking reading and writing in order to form correct sentences we place the words in a particular order such that they give meaning to what we want to convey for example so at the jungle safari i a pride of life these are some of some words but these words are not in correct order so we cannot say this is a sentence how can we make a, this uh, these words as a sentence i saw a pride of lions at the jungle safari pride of lion means group of lions at the jungle safari then what is a sentence a set of words arranged in a pre determined order so that they express a clear thought is called a sentence a set of words arranged in pre determined order so that they express a clear thought is called sentences all sentences begin with a capital letters all sentences begin with a capital letter we punctuate the sentences by full stop question mark or exclamation mark at the end depending on what the sentence is conveying based on their purpose we classify the sentences in the following four types there are four types of sentences assertive sentence interrogative sentence exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence we will discuss one by one what is assertive sentence assertive sentence also known as declarative sentence when a sentence make a statement and give us information about a noun is said to be an assertive or declarative sentence an assertive sentence always ends with a period or full stop some examples are here reading helps gain knowledge a poisonous snake bit the boy this summer vacation my family is traveling to america these are some of the send assertive sentences then interrogative sentence a sentence that asks a question or requests information is called an interrogative sentence a sentence that asks a question or requests information is that called an interrogative sentence it always ends with a question mark interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark interrogative sentences are of four types first one wh questions there are direct questions that begin with a wh word example how what when where why which 
who whose and who now all these words have wh in there that's why it is called a wh questions an example how many eggs did the hen lay it's a question interrogative why was the child crying another interrogative sentence then esorno yes second type is the esorno yes questions there are questions for which the answer could be either yes or a no the answer could be either a yes or a no some examples are here did it rain yesterday in your town this question convey the answer either yes or no is the teacher going to give us a test today this question also will give either yes or no so it is known as a yes or no question will you play with me third question will you play with me it this uh, question also have the uh, the answer of yes or no then third type is the uh, choice question choice questions these are questions that contain two or more alternatives or choices two or more alternatives or choices some examples do you prefer tea or coffee do you prefer tea or coffee you can give the answer of any choice either tea or coffee or any something else should i call you mr brown or swam should i call you mr brown or swam what i call you mr brown or swam either brown or swam may be the answer then fourth type is question tags fourth type is the question tag there are questions where a question tag question word is added at the end of a statement for example rita likes chocolates rita likes chocolates doesn't she its answer what is the answer uh, rita likes chocolates does rita the question is does rita like chocolate doesn't she that is the question tag then another example the dog was barking all night the dog was barking all night was the dog barking all night wasn't it wasn't it that is the question tag then another sentence yesterday they were in at home were they at home yesterday that is the question were they at home yesterday were they that is the question tag if the question is negative the question tag will be positive if the question is negative the question tag will be positive if the question is positive the question tag will be negative the first two sentences are like that rita likes chocolate does rita rita like chocolate doesn't she it's a question tag the dog was barking all night was the dog barking all night that is the question so it's a neg it's a question tag is negative tag question words are helping verb followed by a pronoun rule an affirmative statement carries a negative tag an affirmative or positive statement come with a negative tag a negative statement carries an affirmative tag just now just now you have seen that the first two are affirmative statements 
Preetha likes chocolate and the dog was barking all night are the affirmative statement. His question tag is negative. The third one is negative statement. They weren't at home. That is negative statement. Its question tag is positive. That it was telling. Okay, with this I am winding up today's video. You can expect the another topic in another video. Till then, thank you. Have a nice time.